Madame Sylvie Solitzer had to fight back tears as she got her first glimpse of the painting that was stolen from her grandfather by the Nazis during World War II. I'm very thankful to be able to show my beloved family wherever they are that after all what they've been through, there is a justice. The Renoir was one of hundreds of thousands of pieces stolen by the Nazis during the war, but many were carefully documented and registered, leaving behind a detailed record of the works they stole. Some of those pieces are lost to our culture forever. However, we take a small bit of pride in returning the painting looted during the war, decades after peace was declared, knowing we can help repair some of the destruction during that time. The painting Du Femmes dans un jardin, or Two Women in a Garden, was one of several in the collection of Solitzer's grandfather, Alfred Weinberger. When Weinberger fled Paris at the beginning of the war, he stored much of his collection inside a bank vault that was later looted by the Nazis. One reason that we hold these events upon the return of missing or stolen artwork is to celebrate these agents' dedication and proficiency and to get the word out to the public that the FBI team is ready, willing, and able to help right the wrongs of history. In 2013, the painting went up for auction at Christie's Gallery in New York. That's when Madame Solitzer made her claim. Christie's notified the FBI, and the purported owner agreed to relinquish its claim. I hope he loved it. <laughs> Unfortunately, Solitzer won't be able to keep the painting. Now that it's been found, she has to repay the French and German governments for the compensation they gave her family following the war. To do that, she plans to put the painting up for auction. Several sites estimate the value to be about $200,000, although no one at the museum would speculate on a sale price. Suffice it to say that Madame Solitzer believes that it's priceless. The picture will be on display at the museum until Sunday before it's officially returned to Solitzer. Reporting from Battery Park City, Joe Masiri, PIX11 News.